What's up guys, the biggest LAN in Rocket League history is in the books. It entertained us with a unique format and the highest stakes ever, but it also had its flaws. In this video, we're gonna go over everything that happened in this insane event, so let's jump right into it. First of all guys, if you aren't familiar, the format was something special, 3v3 in the first game, then the loser chooses between 1v1 and 2v2, then another 3v3, and then the other game mode that you didn't have in game 2 is played, and then another 3v3, and so on. Now let's check out those groups that were double elimination, and I think the biggest upset right away was G2 going out against Complexity and losing to Luminosity up here as well. No one expected that in my opinion and Guild and Complexity went through in that group and Endpoint going out early as well was kind of an upset and the next one was F16 beating FaZe Clan. FaZe Clan, however, went back all the way lower bracket and got their revenge on F16. Uh, so they still qualified Furia and FaZe Clan getting through here and then Dignitas, yeah. <laughs> but can you say, still kind of slumping. They had the chances because of the unique format. They got a uh, 1v1. Abject did what he is best at and won his 1v1 in that scenario, but it just wasn't enough. And uh, O1 qualified here alongside Team Falcons. And I have five or six clips here. That we gotta go through before we reveal the play of three so yeah let's check this out it's endpoint versus space station and was a 2v2 and daniel did something absolutely nutty in this one okay, <laughs> he takes possession I hadn't thought about that. of the I think wall that exactly and now it starts it was probably one two that. Oh, bang how about daniel? <laughs> Unbelievable. what can you do he just unreal did that. Of course he did. It's Daniel. Why would this was the upper bracket group stage match here that uh, Space Station won in the end. Now the next one was Space Station versus FaZe. They met in the quarterfinals, and this one really had me in awe. Like, how does he pull that off? Look at the control. What? How perfect! Pirouettes around Unreal to like me. A... This was Space Station versus Face. They had an internal All American one v one, and then we had another quarter final between Falcons and Heat. And here we have TRK Pekin. This is gonna be a very different playstyle. The most aggressive combination Falcons have takes it up. Will it Reset under over. <laughs> Proving <laughs> he just clipped on him. Like, that's just such a convincing air dribble. Look how difficult it is to read that <laughs> fake. And what a time to do it as well. They were up three and two in the series, and uh, with a win, they could advance, which they did in the end. Now we can look at the other matches that were played in the quarterfinals. It was Guild versus O1 Esports. They clapped them right away. Then face Space Station, where we just saw uh, Furia Complexity. Furia advancing looking good here and falcons versus heat as we just saw the trk clip now in this guild versus face clan match we have something i have never seen before face clan is on the attack here trying to get a goal desperately and see what happens somewhat because we want this series to be as competitive as we possibly can but there's still a long way to go first killer takes it three minutes saved number one number two on the post and then oh number three how do you not score there? That hurt. And the way it always is, if you don't score on one side of the pitch, you concede on the other. And they conceded a Barcelona-style tiki-taka goal, which was absolutely insane Three. by Guild. Check this one out. Bang, bang, bang. And the replay shows it even better. Give it a second here. Devo to CRR, to Dorito, back to Devo. And in. Just awesome to see. Now this gave us the following final of Guild Wars Furia as Furia took down Falcons. And then it was an absolute blowout there because Jan made a case for being the world's best player. Just take a look at this one. It's the third game. They're leading 2-0 already. It's overtime. And Jan gets the ball here. Zero boost. Absolutely clean. He stands up, is asking like, what up boys? He is simply Look at him. Different. Just fantastic. And then he had the last 1v1 in game four. America's and that was the it. He won the that, of course. The majestic nation of mechanical tricksters and high ping ranked grinders take international gold for the first time in the region's history. Furia Esports on away soil are your gamers eight champions. And now we have the full results here. $500,000 for the win. And Furia took it 
absolutely incredible like they made so much bang from one tournament guild had a fantastic tournament as well didn't expect that at all falcons and face clan i expected them to be up there but what we also saw is o1 esports making a case for themselves and the free agent reziers who subbed in for heat and played with parker and for this probably <laughs> it was unreal how well he played in that tournament and now we have something that i criticized in my initial video that there was no crowd not comparable to london but i saw something on twitter that made me think otherwise because it was just awesome to see how well the crowd was handling it and uh, how how well they can chant as well because on day one and two it looked nothing like it and f60 oh, I it. By two. what a finish to a game that was as close as we'd hoped And it's quite obvious that Falcons get a lot of love in that tournament because it is in Saudi Arabia and they deserve it. They didn't take the win in the end, it was Furia, but they still got the love they deserve. And now we have something because of those 500k the winner got. An insane stat. Furia has jumped from 23rd all-time winnings to 7th with one LAN. Like, look at this. They have 653,000 overall winnings and 500k came from that win alone. And the same goes for guild. 300k in here just from that one second place. Now the big flaw of the tournament was the attention it got. It peaked at not even 20k viewers. Obviously, there were like 2 or 3k on YouTube as well. But the match that got the most attention was Falcons semi-final match, which kind of makes sense. It was in Saudi Arabia. And then the final had 15,000 on average. And that was about it. Like a tournament of that size, the format, it had everything, just not the viewership and attention it deserved. That was the one big flaw I had with this tournament. Politics aside, we discussed it in an earlier video. But then needs to be more attention by Rocket League Esports as well if you have such a phenomenal event. And before you go, we are so close to 1000 subs and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. I've only been on YouTube for six months, but that number really means a lot to me and it would be awesome if you subscribed. Now that's gonna be it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your week and we're gonna see each other next time.